why would this company sit on breakthrough technology for 30 years while their competitors were taking over? To answer this question, we need to go back to 1975. At this point, Steven Sasson is an engineer at Kodak and Kodak back then owns 90% of the film market. Kodak is worth $28 billion and every photo that's taken in America is on a Kodak film. Steven invents something in the lab. It's the size of a toaster, it's eight pounds. And for 1975, it's actually revolutionary. It takes images without film. It's the first digital camera ever made. Steven shows this to executives and he's really excited. This is about to change everything for Kodak. They tell him that's cute, but do not tell anybody about this. Steven is confused. He's like, why would they want to hide this? The executives don't explain. They just bury it and they tell him to keep researching, but do not talk to anybody about this. So Steven keeps working on it. He's improving it. He's making it better, but Kodak never releases it to the public. Six years go by and Sony now announces they are releasing a digital camera. Canon then jumps in, Nikon, Fuji. All these companies are starting to release their own digital cameras. And Steven is watching this happen. He invented digital cameras first. By the mid nineties, digital cameras are everywhere. They're in stores, people are buying them. And Kodak finally decides they wanna start competing. They start releasing their own digital cameras. But there is a problem. They are extremely late to the party. And something weird's happening inside Kodak. The company is at war with itself. The film division's massive. They're making billions of dollars. And they see digital cameras as the enemy. Every digital photo means one less roll of film sold. They're fighting against their own digital division. And the digital division's frustrated. They're trying to build digital cameras, but the film people keep blocking them. Kodak can decide, are they a film company or a digital company? And while Kodak is fighting internally, their market is moving on. People aren't just taking digital photos. They're storing them on their computers, on their phones, and they're definitely not printing them anymore. So even if Kodak manages to win the digital camera war, they're going to be losing on the entire film revenue that they've been making this entire time. By the early 2000s, film sales have collapsed, and the company that once had 145,000 employees is bleeding jobs. In 2012, Kodak files for bankruptcy and the company that invented the digital camera in 1975 couldn't compete anymore in 2012. Kodak sat on breakthrough technology for 30 years because their executives knew it would destroy their most profitable business. They made billions from film sales and Steven's invention would end that entire cycle. So they chose to protect the present instead of owning the future. By the time they finally decided they wanted to start competing in digital, their competitors had a 15 year head start. Do you think the execs made the right decision or do you think they should have released digital cameras and destroyed their existing business model.